I totally get it. One of the most frustrating things in football is losing the ball, especially if it's happening consistently. Not only is it frustrating to your teammates, it'll be frustrating to you as an individual player um, if you're losing the ball, misplacing passes, and so on. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some things that are gonna help you maintain the ball more often, not lose it, hold on to it, and also do good things with it when you have it. That's coming up next. Hi there, my name is Dave and this is Simply Soccer if you're new to this channel where we are releasing videos every single week to help you improve your game and stand out on the pitch. Now if you haven't gotten my free ebook Game Changer yet, I would really recommend you get that. It'll be linked down below. It's absolutely free, 50 plus pages, uh, just going over so many different things that's going to help take your game to that next level if you apply it. So get that down below. Now without further ado, let's get into the first thing you can do to stop losing the ball so much, retain it and do good things with it. Uh, and we're gonna start in reverse order with number four. So number four is something I go over a lot and it's master the fundamentals. And I'm going to really emphasize a very particular fundamental when it comes to this area that I think if you um, aren't really that great in this area, that's probably why you're losing the ball a lot, uh, combined with a lot of the other things we're gonna go over. Um, but master the fundamentals and especially pay attention to your first touch because nothing will make you more nervous nothing will cause you to lose the ball more than having a poor first touch but when you take a good first touch you will have the advantage when it comes to maintaining the ball whether it's to protect it whether it's to even beat an opponent with your first touch uh you know which direction you're going to take it when you have a really good first touch and you have the ability to do many different types of good first touches in different directions in different ways it's going to go a long way to you not losing the ball Typically, when I see a player who's losing the ball quite consistently, I see that they lack in this area. They're not taking good first touches or their first touches are just, they're not using the right one for the given situation. A lot of it comes down to that fundamental. Now, of course, you wanna master your other fundamentals as well, but when it comes to maintaining the ball, obviously your passing will obviously factor in here as well, but first touch is so crucial get to a wall, practice your first touch in many different situations with different body parts, inside, outside of the foot, top of the foot, even sole of the foot. The better you are with your first touch, the more you've mastered this, the less you're going to lose the ball. In fact, in the comments, if it resonates, put I am mastering my first touch in football. You can put I am mastering the fundamentals as well if you want, but especially I am mastering my first touch and then get out there and work on your first touch. It's so easy to work on this area. You just need a ball and a wall or a ball and a mate to play the ball into you and there's so many different drills you can do. Now let's move on to number three. And number three is massive and this is another one that's such a fundamental that's overlooked, um, but it, it, it's, it's something all players need. And when you don't know how to do this, you're gonna get tackled, you're gonna get shrugged off the ball, you're gonna lose the ball, and it's learn how to protect it. Um, learn how to actually get your body in between the men and the ball. Learn how to use your bum to protect the ball. Some of you may have seen that article that came out uh, not long ago with Yaya Torre talking about bums in football. Um, and he talked about players like Eden Hazard, uh, especially in his prime, how he would do this quite a lot. He would use his bum to protect the ball. He would use it um, to protect himself and the ball. And learning just how to use your body to protect the ball is so crucial because then if you take a good first touch and someone tries to come in and take the ball, you can protect it and one of two things is going to happen. They're not going to get it um, if you've done a good job or they're going to foul you. So learn how to protect the ball. It is so crucial. This is a physical sport. Yes, yeah, sometimes someone's going to run into you. They're going to clatter into you. That's a part of the game. You can't be scared of that. You have to learn how to use your body because again, you need to protect the ball. There's nothing worse than losing it, especially in dangerous positions. So learn to protect it. Learn to draw the foul if necessary or learn to even protect it to the point where the opponent knows they're not going to get it and they'll jock you instead of going in for the tackle but you need to learn how to use your bum as Yaya Torre says but also other ways in which you can protect the ball it's so crucial so if this video is resonating with you and helping you so far make sure you hit that like button and we'll move on to number two now number two is don't panic one of the things that is going to make you lose the ball more than anything else is panicking. This is what happens to a lot of players that messes up their first touch. Even players who are good with it, they're getting the ball, there's being pressure applied, they know a man's gonna be on them right away when they take the first touch. So even if they're good at it and they panic, they may take a bad first touch or make a poor decision. You wanna learn to be ice cool in these situations. When you watch a player that comes out of a situation that seems difficult, like just, just easily, it's because they're calm. These players couldn't do that if they were nervous 
nervous. They wouldn't even attempt some of these things like maybe spinning an opponent um, or splitting two people with their first touch or, or, or keeping the ball in that way. Um, you know, they wouldn't even do those things if they were nervous. They're calm and they're composed. Now, one way to get calm and composed and not panic in these situations is to practice these situations over and over again. You know, have a teammate press you. You know, when you're working with a ball on a wall, make sure you're doing it game pace and pretend someone's trying to get the ball off you and practice controlling it, shielding it, passing it off, whatever else, practice different situations. Because if you do that, then when the game comes along and that situation arises, then you'll know what to do. You've done it hundreds, hopefully even thousands of times, and your body will be able to just react to that situation without getting nervous. But if you panic, it is what's going to lead to mistakes. And number one is just make sure you're not overcomplicating the game. Again, even with good players, a lot of times you'll see if they're losing the ball a lot, maybe they're over dribbling, um, or maybe they're just doing silly things. They're not playing simple. So just make sure you're not overcomplicating what is a very simple game. Now, again, there are times when you're going to go on a run and weave through three players. There are times when you're going to try like that risky through ball that there's a chance it will get intercepted, or you're going to try that kind of audacious first touch over the opponent or around the opponent or whatever else it is. But sometimes you'll see players who try and do this every single time. Like they'll take the risk the majority of the time. And this is just not a smart way to play football. It will cause you to lose the ball quite a lot. You become quite predictable. Opponents will start realizing he's just going to try and beat me with his first touch. He's just going to, you know, he, he's not going to choose the simple um, option ever. So uh, I'll play to him choosing the harder option. And yeah, they might get it every now and then. Um, but again, a player who's losing the ball all the time becomes uh, very much a liability uh, to their team. So make sure you're analyzing your game and asking yourself, am I overcomplicating situations I don't need to be overcomplicating? Should I be playing more simple in this situation? Is that why I'm losing the ball? Is that why not much is happening when I get the ball? And then really take a look at your game, be honest with yourself, and if you realize you are overcomplicating, over, you know, overdoing it in certain situations, practice so that you're not doing that. Become aware of that. Awareness is always the first step in growth as a player, so become aware of that. And then adjust your training accordingly. All right, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Now, not being able to hold on to the ball and losing the ball is one crucial mistake a lot of players make in matches, but there are a lot more you need to make sure you avoid, work on, and get better at. So I'm gonna put a video that goes over those right up here. I recommend you watch that next. So you're avoiding these match mistakes so that you can actually start standing out and have good performances. I'll see you over there. Thanks for tuning into this one.